In the world of movies, some actors leave a lasting impression with their work. One such actor has a career filled with memorable moments and impactful performances. Throughout their films, there's one question that always comes up which movie or scene truly defines their career. Maybe you've been touched by a particular moment in one of their movies that you just can't forget. Is there a scene that still resonates with you today? As we explore the highlights of this actor's journey in cinema, we want to hear about your favorite memories or experiences related to their work. Share your stories and reflections with us in the comments below. Stay tuned as we uncover interesting facts about this actor's career. From funny anecdotes to surprising revelations, there's so much to discover about the movies and shows that have stood the test of time. What's your most memorable experience with this classic actor? Let us know in the comments below. In the realm of cinema, there's a figure who has left a lasting impression. His work has shaped the way we see movies and storytelling. He's known for bringing memorable characters to life, drawing audiences into his narratives. Some of the films he starred in are widely cherished like Dances with Wolves and Field of Dreams. These movies connect deeply with viewers, showcasing his talent and leaving a strong impression on the world of film. His presence on screen is captivating, immersing viewers in the stories he portrays. Over the years, he has received praise and recognition for his performances, earning various awards and honors. Not only has he excelled as an actor, but he's also made significant contributions behind the scenes as a director and producer. His impact on cinema is undeniable, and his legacy will endure for generations to come. In a memorable cinematic journey, a well-known actor and director took on a role that left a lasting impression. Famous for his many talents, he smoothly switches between acting and directing, often making a big impact in both areas. Among his movies, one really stands out as amazing, not just because it's long, but because of its deep story. In this epic tale, there's a fascinating mix of characters and time periods, showing how good the actor is at telling complicated stories. It's interesting to see that in one film, the actor playing a dad is actually younger than the main character, which adds layers to the story. Plus, there's a crucial scene where something unexpected happens to a character, but they get saved at the last moment. This twist keeps viewers hooked and shows the actor-director's skill at making surprising stories. These examples show how involved the artist is in his projects, both on and off the screen. It proves how creative he is and how much he cares about telling great stories in his work. In The Postman, he portrayed the character of The Postman. Notably, he and Joe Santos had shared the screen before in Revenge back in 1990. Beyond the real life, Costner owns a 165-acre ranch situated outside Aspen, Colorado. This expansive property reflects his personal connection to nature and his choice for a serene lifestyle. In Dances with Wolves, he took on the role of Lieutenant Dunbar. During the filming, Mary McDonnell expressed nervousness about the love scenes with him. In response to her request, the scenes were notably toned down considerably. Away from the Hollywood spotlight, Costner's 165-acre ranch in Aspen, Colorado stands as a testament to his commitment to a quiet and nature-centric existence. Meanwhile, his on-screen collaborations like with Joe Santos in Revenge and the adjustments made in scenes with Mary McDonnell in Dances with Wolves showcase his adaptability as an actor. In a beloved movie, a character hears a mysterious voice that guides him on a journey. The actor who played this character is not revealed. Some speculate it could be one of several actors, including those closely associated with the film. Another film featured the same actor as a character known as the Mariner. After this film, the actor formed a strong friendship with another actor, leading to collaboration on a different movie directed by the first actor. Making the first movie wasn't easy. The actor faced challenges during filming, particularly in capturing a crucial scene. The scene had to be shot in one take at a specific time of day, with distractions making it even more difficult. These experiences provide insight into the diverse roles and obstacles encountered by the actor in the world of filmmaking. In the movie where he played Robin of Loxley, some people didn't like his American accent, especially since his role was bigger than King Richard's. King Richard, I actually spoke a type of French. Then, in another movie, he was Lieutenant Dunbar. He helped turn the screenplay into a book before it became a film, and then he directed it. It's interesting how he didn't just act, but also influenced how the movies turned out. In Hollywood, actors usually just act, but Costner goes beyond that, leaving a lasting mark on the movies he works on. His career shows how versatile and dedicated he is to what he does. In Dances with Wolves, he pondered casting Marlon Brando, but he hesitated due to the latter's reputation within the industry. 
For Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, a stunt double took charge of the cold water scenes to prevent any risks of hypothermia. The decision reflected his concern for the well-being of the cast and crew, showcasing his thoughtful approach to filmmaking. His production companies, Tig Productions and Treehouse Films, carry significant personal connections. Tig, a name derived from his paternal grandmother, adds a touch of familial homage to his professional ventures. This blend of personal history and professional endeavor underscores his nuanced approach to storytelling, enriching his cinematic legacy with layers of meaning and depth. In Hollywood, there's a versatile actor known for playing roles of people from small towns, which might surprise some as he actually comes from Los Angeles. He's often seen in movies set after the world has ended, like in a film called The Postman, which looks so similar to his previous one, Waterworld, that they nicknamed it Dirt World on set. He often works with the same people again, like Rex Lynn, who he's acted with before in movies like Wyatt Earp and Tin Cup. He's good at changing between different kinds of characters, whether they're brave heroes or people with flaws, which has made him very popular in Hollywood. Even though he's successful, he stays down to earth, saying that growing up in the Midwest taught him how to work hard and stay humble. Each time he acts, he keeps audiences interested, showing that he's one of Hollywood's best actors. Besides acting, he's also tried directing and producing, showing that he's good at lots of different things. The story of how he went from a regular person to a big star in Hollywood shows how much he loves telling stories and how he's left a big impression on movies that will last a long time. In Waterworld, he played the Mariner. The script went through 36 drafts with input from various parties. Original writer Peter Rader wrote seven drafts before being replaced. The script was continually rewritten during filming. He also starred in The Postman, where he faced off against Will Patton, with whom he also acted in No Way Out. Costner and Christian Slater, who appeared together in Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, later co-starred with Dennis Hopper in different films. Costner appeared in Waterworld and Swing Boat, while Slater starred in True Romance. In the realm of Hollywood productions, clashes between lead actors and directors are not uncommon. Take the classic case of a certain film set in Sherwood Forest, where tensions brewed between the main star and the director due to creative differences. Throughout the movie's making, clashes between the two became a recurring theme. In another instance, a watery adventure unfolded with a film involving a post-apocalyptic world submerged in water. Originally, a different director was in the cards for this project, but the lead actor's interests shifted the directorial choices. Amidst the challenging environment of this water-centric world, the actor, who portrayed the main character, faced the unique challenge of spending the entire film barefoot. To protect against sharp objects on set, a layer of moleskin was applied to the soles of the actor's feet. Despite this precaution, stub toes on set were inevitable. These anecdotes from the behind the scenes of two iconic films offer a glimpse into the challenges and dynamics that shape the making of a movie. Creativity clashed and actors faced unexpected hurdles, showcasing the unpredictable nature of filmmaking. In a notable performance as Jim Garrison in JFK, he shared the screen with Michael Rooker, who played Bill Browsard, a member of Garrison's staff. Interestingly, Rooker also took on the role of Chick Gandil, the leader of the Black Sox in Eight Men Out. Later in Field of Dreams, our lead played a farmer who brings back Shoeless Joe Jackson and his White Sox teammates, including Gandil. Moving on to Dances with Wolves, he portrayed Lieutenant Dunbar. During a scene with a wolf, the trainer found himself chased and bitten, prompting our lead to step in, running, and using raw meat to control the situation and salvage the shot. As Robin of Loxley and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, he made a connection between projects. While on set, our lead introduced the script of Unforgiven, then titled the William Money Killings to Morgan Freeman. This led to him requesting the role of Ned Logan from Clint Eastwood, with whom he later co-starred in A Perfect World. These interesting connections and behind-the-scenes stories showcase the intricate web of Hollywood collaborations. In the world of movies, he skillfully played Ray Kinsella in Field of Dreams, alongside Frank Whaley, who later joined him in JFK. Known for his versatility, he's one of the few actors to share the screen with all three stars of Goodfellas Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, and Ray Liotta. As Robin of Loxley in Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, he starred with three Oscar winners Morgan Freeman, Sir Sean Connery, and three Oscar nominees Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, Jack Wilde, and Brian Adams. The film not only showed his acting skills, but also marked a notable collaboration with acclaimed talents. Throughout his career, he smoothly shifted between genres, leaving a lasting impact in each role. His ability to bring depth and authenticity to characters has made him a beloved figure in cinema. 
The charm he shows on screen is matched by his choice of projects, showing a keen eye for compelling stories and memorable performances. In various film landscapes, he's become known for excellence, earning praise for his engaging performances. Whether on magical baseball fields or as Robin Hood, he consistently delivers performances that connect with audiences worldwide. His work with industry legends and emerging talents highlights his commitment to the craft. In conclusion, the career of this acclaimed actor speaks to his dedication and passion for storytelling. From the magical fields of dreams to the gritty world of Goodfellas and the timeless legend of Robin Hood, he's made a lasting impact on cinema, captivating audiences, and earning his place among the greats of our time. In the movie The Postman, he played the main character, showing how good he is at acting different roles. What's interesting is that his kids were also in the movie, which made it more personal. Some people think he became a big Hollywood star after his role as Tom Farrell in No Way Out. Then there's Dances with Wolves, where he played Lieutenant Dunbar and amazed everyone. This made him even more of a top actor. To make sure the animals in the movie were treated well, his company spent a lot of money on fake buffalo for an important scene. This shows he really cares about doing things right and treating animals right in his work. In short, Kevin Costner has played many great roles and cares about making good movies. His movies will be remembered for a long time. In a particular film, he took on the lead role, grabbing the audience's attention with his charm and excellent acting. There's a famous scene in another movie where he asked for seeds, a moment that's become well known in movie history for its brilliance and depth of feeling. In another notable performance, he played Lieutenant Dunbar, showing how versatile he is as an actor. He didn't just act well on screen, he also put a lot of money into one of his movies. Despite many people doubting it at first, this investment paid off big time. It showed he really believed in the project and helped it become successful, even though many didn't think it would. Besides his acting, he's also known for being good looking and has been praised by magazines like Empire. He's made a big impact on the film world, not just through his roles, but also through his investments. It shows how dedicated he is to storytelling and how talented he is. Overall, the roles he's taken on and the money he's put into movies have made a big difference in the film industry. It's something people will remember for a long time. In a recent exploration of an actor's career, it's fascinating to note how he always aimed for perfection, even giving actors tough ultimatums to get their lines right. He was all about making the roles authentic, going as far as considering replacing those who couldn't nail it. In another movie, he teamed up with another actor from a Superman film, adding a nice touch of friendship and connection to the project. Their chemistry on screen was undeniable. Then there was a film where he shared the spotlight with a real-life bandmate, bringing a personal touch to the movie. It showed not just his acting skills, but also his ability to blend his personal life with his work seamlessly. Overall, his movies always had depth and authenticity, whether they were historical dramas or futuristic tales. Each film showcased his versatility and the importance of teamwork in making great movies. So, beyond just acting, his dedication to excellence and building meaningful relationships has left a mark on the entertainment industry. And that's what makes his movies so memorable. This insight into his varied career highlights his commitment to his craft and his knack for creating cinematic magic. Embarking on a cinematic journey often leads to discovering fascinating insights about the actors who bring characters to life. For instance, one actor took on diverse roles, portraying a legendary outlaw, a baseball-loving farmer, and a courageous soldier. In various films, this actor showcased his versatility and dedication to storytelling, captivating audiences worldwide. From father-son conflicts in Field of Dreams to the iconic portrayal of Robin of Loxley in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, his performances always left a lasting impression. In one memorable scene from Dances with Wolves, the actors stand and filled in during a medical examination with the producer and the actor himself dubbing the voices later on. Even in The Postman, extras fondly dubbed the production Dirt World, though mentioning it around the actor might lead to repercussions. Throughout his career, the actor's commitment to his craft shone brightly, revealing new layers of talent with each role. It's clear that his impact on the film industry has been profound and memorable. In a notable movie, the main character, played by a well-known actor, made a spontaneous move during a crucial scene that surprised the stunt coordinator. The coordinator had to yell at the actor to open his eyes just before running into a fence. This actor also starred in another film where he bravely rode across enemy lines on horseback, reminiscent of his previous role. Apart from his acting career, he is recognized for his involvement with a country rock band, 
which performed at a film festival in Romania in 29. These instances highlight his ability to bring unexpected moments to his performances and showcase his versatility in both acting and music. In the realm of movie making magic, one actor's genuine stumble became an unexpected part of cinematic history. During a crucial scene in Field of Dreams, an unplanned fall on the mound added an authentic touch to Kevin Costner's performance. Undeterred, he seamlessly incorporated the mishap into the storyline, showcasing his dedication to his craft. Notably, in the same movie, Ray Liotta, naturally right-handed, transformed into the left-handed hitter shoeless Joe Jackson. His commitment to authenticity led him to extensive training with a baseball coach, refining his swing until it mirrored a professional's. However, during an intense scene, Liotta unintentionally hit a line drive straight at another actor, creating a genuine moment of tension on set. Beyond the screen, Costner's personal life made headlines in 2003 with his engagement to Christine Baumgartner. Their love story captivated the public, adding a romantic touch to Costner's illustrious career. In The Postman, Costner once again demonstrated his commitment to authenticity by performing many of his own stunts. From navigating a precarious rope bridge to mastering horse riding scenes, he showcased his dedication to the craft. Most impressively, he tackled a nerve-wracking cable cart scene, suspended in the air, and winched through the sky by a helicopter. Throughout his career, this actor continually pushed the boundaries of his craft, engaging audiences with genuine on-screen performances and real-life adventures. His impact as a Hollywood icon endures, leaving an indelible mark on the world of film. In the realm of movies, unexpected turns often make things interesting. Consider an actor who not only acts, but also directs films. He's been part of some memorable scenes, like an exciting buffalo hunt, which he co-directed with someone else. There was also a time when he had to fill in for another actor who couldn't make it, showing his ability to handle challenges. Once, when there were disagreements among the team making a movie, he took charge and became the director himself. Despite the difficulties, he managed the job well. These experiences show how determined and adaptable he is. Through all these ups and downs, he's given performances that people really remember and like. He's made his mark in the film world, proving his talent and dedication over time. In the end, his story teaches us that Hollywood can be unpredictable, but if you stay strong and keep going, you can succeed. It's a story that inspires anyone trying to make it big in showbiz. In Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, he portrayed Robin of Loxley. During a British TV interview, Alan Rickman shared that around 10 swords were broken in the sword fighting scene with Costner. In The Postman, Costner took on the role of the postman. Over the end credits, he collaborated with Amy Grant for a duet on You Didn't Have to Be So Nice. As Mariner in Waterworld, he faced a perilous situation. While tied to the mast of his trimaran, Costner nearly lost his life in a squall. The crew navigated the rocking ship to calmer waters before safely getting him down the mast. These incidents reveal the challenges and memorable moments he encountered while bringing characters to life on the big screen. In Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, he portrayed Robin, Azim, and Duncan fleeing from Marians. During a scene in Sherwood Forest, his horse's abrupt halt broke his nose. Despite the injury, he carried on seamlessly, according to DVD commentary. In Waterworld, he played Mariner, using Hindi to converse with a lime-stealing drifter. Writer Peter Rader initially shelved the screenplay, but revived it after it piqued his interest, thanks to a chance encounter with studio executives discussing the script. This serendipitous meeting breathed new life into the project, eventually leading to its production. From medieval forests to futuristic oceans, he demonstrated versatility and dedication to his craft capturing audiences' imaginations with each role. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the challenges and triumphs of an actor committed to his art. In a celebrated film, an actor delivered a standout performance as Lieutenant Dunbar, earning an Oscar nomination for acting. Interestingly, it's not just the actor who's shown in the movie, another actor also received an Oscar nomination for their role. Another interesting aspect of the film involves the actor's daughter, who portrayed a character as a child. During a crucial flashback scene, the child actor's posture stemmed from the director's guidance due to her young age. Such details highlight the familial involvement behind the scenes. Moreover, the movie's immense success and its respectful portrayal of a particular group led to the adoption of the actor as an honorary member by that group. It's impressive how a single film can leave a lasting impression, both professionally and culturally, further solidifying the actor's place in cinematic history. Throughout a remarkable Hollywood career, he has left a lasting impression on the big screen, playing characters that are now synonymous with cinematic excellence. 
From the famous Robin Hood to a futuristic mariner, he effortlessly moves between roles, holding the audience's attention with his varied performances. Some of the most memorable scenes featuring him unfortunately didn't make it into the final cut, as others occasionally stole the spotlight. However, this only emphasizes his strong presence on set, where his talent shines through even in moments that didn't make the final edit. His ability to command attention shows how skilled he is. Notably, two of the films he worked on have earned prestigious spots in the National Film Registry, showing the lasting impact of his work on shaping cinematic history. What makes him stand out is not just his skill in front of the camera, but also his directing abilities. He took charge in one of these recognized films, showing a talent that goes beyond acting. His collaborations with composer James Newton Howard are also important, creating movie magic with memorable scores that are now a crucial part of the movie watching experience. The synergy between his performances and Howard's music has lifted many films to cinematic greatness, forming a strong partnership that has stood the test of time. In essence, his journey in the entertainment world is proof of a diverse and long-lasting talent, covering both acting and directing. With an impressive career spanning decades, his contributions still connect with audiences worldwide, leaving a lasting impact on the silver screen. In JFK, he delivered a poignant closing summation as Jim Garrison, his emotions unscripted but deeply felt. This rawness added weight to the scene, evoking powerful emotion without the need for reshoots. In Dances with Wolves, he achieved a rare feat, winning Best Director and earning nominations for Producer and Actor, echoing the accomplishments of cinematic legends like Orson Welles, Woody Allen, and Warren Beatty. And in Waterworld, he dedicated 157 days to the set, working tirelessly six days a week as the Mariner. His commitment to his roles is evident as he immerses himself fully into the characters he portrays, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. In the world of movies, there's an actor who's known for his love of westerns and his admiration for certain directors like Frank Capra and Steven Spielberg. He almost played Colonel James Doolittle in Pearl Harbor, but decided not to, and Alec Baldwin got the role instead. Even though he's famous for serious roles in big movies, he's also done lighter stuff to show off his skills. People love how he plays strong, serious characters with a sense of right and wrong. He's made a big impact in Hollywood, and he stays humble, giving credit to hard work and his love for acting. His career continues to inspire and impress audiences, leaving a lasting impression that'll be remembered for a long time. In one film, his improvisation in a limo scene added an authentic touch. Suggesting a spontaneous screen raise to the driver, he transformed the scripted moment into something more natural and compelling. This showcased the actor's ability to enhance a scene with instincts. In another film, his commitment to a role had real consequences. The stunt double was swept out to sea and extras faced near-drowning incidents. This highlighted the intense physical challenges involved in bringing the film to life, underscoring the actor's dedication to delivering an authentic portrayal. Yet, in a different movie, not only did he take on a lead role, but he also showed consideration for the film crew and locals. Facing limited accommodations during filming, he rented a house from a resident demonstrating kindness beyond the set. The crew's respect for locals extended even to autograph requests in local restaurants. Throughout these film experiences, his contributions went beyond the screen. Improvisation in one, commitment in another, and thoughtfulness during the third exemplify the actor's involvement in the filmmaking process. Amid the lush landscapes of Hawaii, a certain actor formed a unique bond with a friendly bottlenose dolphin during a film shoot. This actor, also known for his roles in various movies like one where he played a character named Ray Kinsella, and another where he portrayed Wyatt Earp, seemed to share an unspoken connection with this aquatic friend, whom he affectionately named Noodle. During breaks on set, he would often share his shrimp snacks from the craft services table with Noodle, fostering a heartwarming camaraderie. In some of his other films, he consistently played characters who face loss and solitude. In one movie, his character's wolf companion met a tragic end, while in another, his loyal dog suffered a similar fate. Even in another film where he portrayed a character known simply as the Postman, his trusty mule faced a grim demise. Across these movies, the central theme seemed to revolve around his character's journeys from isolation to heroism, as they reluctantly stepped up to confront challenges thrust upon them by fate. These patterns underscored this actor's penchant for roles that explore themes of companionship, loss, and eventual transformation into a reluctant hero. In a well-known Western film, Dances with Wolves, the lead role of Lieutenant Dunbar was portrayed by a prominent actor. 
Interestingly, the filmmaker initially considered casting Marlon Brando for a key role, which was eventually taken on by another actor. Moving on to another notable film, JFK, the actor played the character of Jim Garrison. It's intriguing to note that several cast members had previously worked with director Brian De Palma in various films. One starred in The Untouchables in 1987, another in Carrie in 1976, and yet another in Raising Cain in 1992. In a post-apocalyptic setting, the actor took on the role of the postman in a film of the same name. Interestingly, the composer James Newton Howard worked on both this movie and another film called Waterworld in 1995. Additionally, it's worth mentioning that the actor was considered for a lead role in The Fugitive in 1993, which eventually went to Harrison Ford. He announced players selected to Major League Baseball's All-Century team at the 1999 All-Star Game in Boston. Growing up in the Compton area of LA, he witnessed the realities of urban life. In his role as Crash Davis in Bull Durham, he shares personal beliefs, including his conviction that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Contradictorily, portraying Jim Garrison in JFK, he embodies a lawyer adamant to prove Oswald did not act alone. These roles showcase his range and, and depth as an actor, delving into contrasting perspectives on a significant historical event. Throughout his career, he's demonstrated versatility and complexity in his portrayals, making him a respected figure in the film industry. In Dances with Wolves, he portrayed Lieutenant Dunbar, who stumbles upon Fort Sedgwick, finding it deserted and in disarray. There's a deleted scene where the garrison, facing adversity, decides to abandon the post, which adds depth to the story. Costner opted to include this scene only in the extended version of the film. Later, he took on the role of Ray Kinsella in Field of Dreams, a character reminiscent of his portrayal in Man of Steel as Jonathan Kent. In another instance in Dances with Wolves, his father appears as a Union soldier, while his daughter Annie plays stands with a fist as a child. Additionally, his other children are also seen in a scene with chickens and puppies. The family connection adds a personal touch to the film. Entering the world of acting and directing, he faced a unique challenge directing himself in a performance that unexpectedly earned him a Razzie Award for Worst Actor. Despite the setback, he didn't let it discourage him. Instead, he achieved something noteworthy by winning the prestigious Academy Award for Best Director for his first time directing. Throughout his journey in the film industry, he finds inspiration in classic movies like Red River, Ben-Hur, Lawrence of Arabia, and Spartacus. These films not only influence his artistic vision, but also impact how he tells stories and makes movies. In Hollywood, where successes and challenges are common, he proves to be a versatile talent. From the disappointment of a Razzie to the triumph of an Oscar, his career reflects the unpredictable nature of the film industry. Despite the highs and lows, he remains dedicated to his craft. In his cinematic preferences, you can see his love for epic tales and grand narratives. These films, celebrated in cinema history, motivate him to create compelling and memorable stories. So, the journey of this actor-director unfolds, marked by achievements and obstacles, yet fueled by an unwavering commitment to the art of filmmaking. And so, the story continues with each frame crafted by his creativity, leaving an unforgettable impression on the silver screen. In one movie, he played a character named Ray Kinsella, who was really into baseball and cornfields. The corn around him grew super fast, making a cool background for the movie. They had to put boxes in the fields so he could walk through them and still be seen on camera. Then, he was in another movie where he was called The Postman. This movie was set in a world after a big disaster. There's this funny part where his character talks about the Beatles. It adds some fun to the story and shows that he's smart and tough. He almost got a part in another movie called Lady in the Water, but they couldn't get in touch with him, so someone else got the role. In all these movies, he's really good at acting and makes you want to watch him. Even though the film industry can be unpredictable, he leaves a strong impression on viewers. His performances stick with you long after the movie ends. In the world of film, some actors have left a lasting mark on multiple productions. One such actor is the lead in Silverado, where he played the role of Jake. The set created for this movie became a backdrop for other films like Young Guns, Wyatt Earp, and Last Man Standing. Even in Wild Wild West, a nod to the director is visible with the label cast in ironworks on one of the buildings. In another film, he portrayed Ray Kinsella in Field of Dreams. The author of the original novel had some critiques, particularly about the character of Mark lacking sufficient qualities as a villain. Then there's The Postman, where he took on the titular character. The author of the book expressed his excitement when he learned that the actor would play the role, describing himself as thrilled. 
In these various roles, he has made a significant impact on the movie's storytelling and production, 